Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I hope you still remember what I shared with you a couple of weeks ago about the identity crisis, one of the serious problems in our modern society. In particular, many of Christians today have lost or do not pay enough attention to their Christian identity as a servant of God and servant of neighbors with love. When I reflect on today's readings, an event happened in 2011 that made many people, including me, fell into sadness came across my mind. It is a car accident of a Chinese little girl named Zuit Zuit. You know, Zuit Zuit was only two years old when she was hit and run over by two trucks. These trucks driver did not stop to get out and see the girl. It's horrible, right? The misery of Zuit Zuit was not stopped there. You know, in only about seven minutes after the accident, there were 18 people passed by the little girl who was laying on her own blood. None of them stopped to check if the little girl is still alive or to have the child. When this shocking news were reported, along with a video clip recorded, what happened to Zuit Zuit? It triggered a big question to billions of people in China and around the world about human morality in our modern society. Are we still living with a beating heart or a stone heart? No one understood why those people could act like that to their own kind. One of the reasons that the reasons that causes these people to turn their back toward a little girl in need is that they were afraid of putting themselves into troubles. For them, the easiest way to stay away from the problem is to close their eyes and cover their ears to the cries of others. Many of our sins, you know, in life are the result of our fear. Our fear. We fear to face up to something, unsure what it will cost us. This fear usually causes us to hold back, to delay, to try to avoid when we face up to something we should do, in the hope that it may go away by itself or someone else would do it for us. This includes pattern of behavior, additions, compulsions, or injustice to others. Let us pause a moment to recall any occasions when we know rightly what we should do, but because it seems to be too difficult, so we keep postponing doing anything about it. This is something on which each one of us should reflect today. Dear brothers and sisters, the way 
of the 18 people's choose to do in that accident is not rare in our modern society. I am sure none of us ever want that to happen to us. But this has happened more and more often here and there in our society. So who knows when it will happen to our neighbors, our relatives, or even to ourselves. But we know for sure that we can stop it if we try to leave our Christian identity. It means that we live with our calling to become a servant of God and a servant of our neighbors. Then we will know how to serve people and to assist those in need. In the gospel today, the temptation of selfishness attacked Peter as well. When Jesus revealed to the disciples his mission as a suffering servant, Peter immediately rebuked Jesus. He wasn't able to hear Jesus talking about himself as a broken, felt, rejected Messiah. This idea of the Messiah is not easy to be accepted. Peter could not accept it. The, the, the ordinance of Jesus, the mystery of Jesus' identity, so that Peter became distinctly uncomfortable. Peter even wants to stop Jesus from going to Jerusalem to prevent all bad things that might happen to Jesus. It was really only after the resurrection that Peter and the disciples were able to come to terms with such brokenness, such failure of Jesus as the suffering servant of God. The question, you know, the question, who do you say that I am, is continuously asked by Jesus, not only for Peter or the twelve, but for each one of us, the reader of the gospel today. You might question, why does it matter for us to know Jesus' identity? The answer for this question is if we do not know who Jesus really is, we will not a be able to live our Christian identity as bearer of Christ. So, who do we say that Jesus is? Can we accept Jesus' identity as a suffering servant? Now, I think it is much easier for us to proclaim that Jesus is the crucified and risen one who will come in glory. But where do we find him today? In fact, Christ is crucified all around us and the power of his resurrection is at work everywhere as well. We meet seeing this when we cling to our selfish security. Dear my friends, Jesus today in gospel shows us a new way that leads us to Jerusalem with him. The way to Jerusalem is the way of self-denial to serve others. On the way to Jerusalem, we cannot behave like the people 
who denied to assist the little girl in that story above. On the way to Jerusalem with Jesus, we have a chance to show our Christian identity to the world as a servant who does not afraid of sacrificing ourselves for others. Anytime we choice the whole Eucharist, the Holy Eucharist, we are non we are not only following Jesus to Jerusalem where he was crucified for us, but also participating in the glory of his resurrection. In the celebration of the Eucharist, we again verified our Christian identity as a servant, servant of God and servant of our neighbors. Let us ask God for the grace to be able to overcome the fear and the temptation of selfishness so that we are able to serve God through our brothers and sisters in daily life. May God bless you. Amen.